Research suggests that mathematical thinking begins in infancy and develops into adulthood. It is embedded in children's everyday lives. The mathematical thinking learning trajectory contains four subdomains. These include patterns and predictions, which are the foundation of mathematical and logical thinking, where children notice patterns and predict the next item in a sequence. Shapes and spatial thinking can be demonstrated by describing physical objects, their position relative to each other and their direction of movement. Measurement and data involve understanding units of measurement and using mathematical knowledge to answer simple questions by collecting, interpreting, representing and communicating information. Quantity and counting relate to naming numbers in sequence and connecting them to quantities, as well as using actions, objects or numbers to symbolise these quantities. Within each subdomain, there are strands and indicators. Strands describe the capabilities that change as children learn and develop, and indicators describe the progress you may observe. Educators and teachers can use the learning trajectories to inform their practice. Let's look at how the learning trajectory for mathematical thinking can be used alongside the Early Years Learning Framework Version 2 Planning Cycle. An educator or teacher observes a child beginning to use measurement concepts in their play as they compare the heights of their towers. The educator or teacher then refers to the learning trajectories to assess the learning and to identify the indicator that best describes the child's skill. They identify that this example of learning falls under the mathematical thinking domain, more specifically the measurement and data subdomain. Using the learning trajectories, the educator or teacher can see an opportunity to build on the child's understanding of measurement strategies. They then plan to extend this learning opportunity by demonstrating effective measurement strategies and record this as part of their programming documentation. The educator or teacher then implements a range of learning experiences to draw children's attention to using informal measurement tools consistently. The educator or teacher evaluates the implementation of their plan and considers learning possibilities moving forward, such as encouraging children to estimate the length of an object or area using informal measurements to check and reflect on their initial ideas. A child's development is influenced by their community, culture and everyday experiences. The learning trajectories are not designed to be used as a checklist, as each child's development is unique. Rather, they serve as a guide to identifying and extending on children's abilities, knowledge and understandings. Learn more about the early childhood learning trajectories and how you can use them to strengthen your practice with children and families. Visit the Australian Education Research Organisation's website at edresearch.edu.au.